Hi Mike, this is Sharice here from Gokia Self and I mentioned. In front of me I have our 2013 Lexus ES350. So this is going to be the technology package and this is the highest trim level that you can get within Lexus. Um, for the ES350 anyways, currently in 2013. Um, so I'm just going to do a little walk around video of the vehicle itself for you. I guess we might as well start by looking underneath the hood. I already popped this open here for us. So you have your 3.3 liter engine, V6 engine under here as well. Um, your output is going to be 268 horsepower. It has a very nice feel on the, when you're driving on the road. It has just enough torque and just enough horsepower combination to make it feel like a very luxurious drive. You do have some really beautiful head headlights here with LEDs and you do have your fog lights as well. Now, since you're in Winnipeg, I just wanted to do a video that shows literally everything on the vehicle. So I'm gonna show you this here. It's kind of hard to see these things in person, but I just wanna make sure that you're aware of everything. So there's a little tiny scuff right on the front of the bumper here. Um, it's plastic, so there's no worries when you're looking at the front of a vehicle. It's always polyurethane plastic, um, front and rear bumpers. And now we're gonna look along here. You have your front parking sensors, beautiful Lexus badge as well. And there is a small crack here in the bottom part of the grill. So there's gonna be that. And then just this right here as well has hairline fractures on it. So like I said, I know some people would never notice that looking at it from here, probably not gonna notice it, but since we're working over the phone, I wanna make sure everything is straightforward here for you. And just a small scratch there as well. You do have the 3M on the hood, so it's been protected from rocks. I don't know if you can see that little seam that goes all the way down and around. Um, so that'll help you out quite a bit. And then it's going to be on the fender and the hood. And then looking over here, so your tires. So you're going to have, this is going to be the 230 seconds, I believe. Um, the front is what it was. Now you're curious about road um, rim rash. So there's been a little bit of rubbing on this wheel. This is definitely the worst one. Um, you can take a look at that and we can definitely see what we can do about that. There is ways to polish it out and make it look very shiny and brand new if that's something you desire, if that's important to you, or if you curb your rims then you don't really want to do that. Um, signal light on your mirror. Looking along the passenger side, it's in beautiful shape. And then we'll open up the door here just to show you the interior. So on the passenger side you have memory seat settings for three different customizations. You have your power seat, fully adjustable, rubber floor mats on all parts of the vehicle as well. And then looking through the dash, beautiful trim all the way through. That matches up with the doors as well, the wood grain. And then I'll do a little more in-depth on the driver's side. You do have your navigation, your little clock there, dual climate control. You have heated seats and cooled seats and the heated steering wheel. This other little button right there, that's going to be to adjust your rear shade. Um, so it covers the rear window. Um, I'm gonna pop out here. You do have tint on there as well. It's just actually fairly subtle on the front, a little bit darker on the back. And the 3M protectant just right here and on this side as well. And looking into the back seat, you have your rear sunshade that pops up and that just clicks up there. And then you can also adjust the sensor separately if you want a little window. Um, if you have any passengers or pets in the back, it definitely helps block anything or personal belongings that you want extra, extra privacy for. Uh, looking down here, you do have your vents in the rear of the seats for air, as well as right there. Rubber mats all throughout the vehicle. And then you have your 12 volt plug in. And looking here, you have full leather all the way around on all the front and the back seats. You also have your cup holders that fold down. You just open that up there and you have a pass through. Now it's kind of cool, you have dual sunroof. So you have front and rear sunroof. And this is going to be your rear sunshade that is power adjustable. So that's going to be the button on the front that I just showed you. Now we're going to take a look at this tire here as well. So that's going to be your um, passenger side rear tire. So it's going to be a more tread on this one. You have about 4, 30 seconds. And this one's curved a little bit as well. They missed a couple spots. Um, the rims themselves are in fabulous shape. It's just going to be along the sides that do have that road rash. Tiny little scuffs there. Those ones, I didn't even notice those before. Um, wandering around to the rear as well. You actually do have the power tailgate. 
So if it's not locked, I can actually open it up. Let me unlock that for us just so we can go through that. So we can actually pop the trunk from right there or the key fob. So looking into the back here, you have that rear pass through. Um, and then as well, you just have a couple different pieces, rear license plate or front license plate holder. It's a little cargo net that goes across if you'd like it. Um, and then just random, random little pieces of equipment for the vehicle if you want those. And then looking underneath here, your whole entire setup for the spare tire changing if you desire to change your own spare tire. And then to close up the tailgate, I'm just gonna push close, pops on closed, and then it's pretty, pretty simple from there. Um, you do have your dual exhaust, looks super sporty. You have a rear backup camera as well as the pack, um, backup sensors. Just walk around this side here. I'm gonna take a look at this tire. Um, they definitely missed a couple more road, um, rims, um, curves of this on their rim. This side, clean, a little bit of rash. Other than that, you're gonna be all good. And then your tires are 18 inches as well. So they're not going to be outrageously expensive if there's any ever anything. This is the one paint scuff I was thinking of that we might want to fix for you. It's just in the it's in the paint. It's not through the paint, so that'd be a fairly easy fix. And then looking around to the driver's side, this tire is very clean. Tiny little chunk out there, but other than that, it's going to be all the all clean, all fresh, all new. And then for the driver's side. You have, again, memory seat all the way around, um, fully powered seat as well. This is super cool. You can actually adjust the end of the seat to make it more customizable to how long your legs are. So I find that super comfortable because I'm short. I find seats are often too long for me. So it's definitely as helpful for myself and any tall person, I'm sure, as well. Looking in here, these are uh, for your hood, your trunk, and, oh, sorry, your hood, your trunk, and your fuel door. You have your auto headlights, blind spot monitoring, and then the parking assist as well. Um, and then your mirrors adjustment. And I'm looking on the steering wheel here. So right in here, you have your radar ready for your smart cruise, as well you have your lane departure symbols going on on the sides, waiting for you to be on the road. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video with a coworker here just so you can see how that does work on the road as well. And then the LDA is lane departure assist. And then over here you have your cruise that is on and ready for you to go. Currently has 73,984 kilometers on it. Um, so that's one of the features right there. You have auto headlights as well as you have your auto wipers. You have your navigation system. You can scroll through all of that. Um, go play around with your menu. You can be, look um, if you want to play around with your climate control. You can have that on full screen. I'm um, just adjusting everything just with this little scroll knob as well. You have an automatic transmission, obviously, with sport mode. So if you want to slap it into um, the sport drive, you can just shift that manually without a clutch. Then you have eco, you have normal, and you have sport for different driving modes as well. Um, so that's going to be kind of nice. You can close up your cup holders if you don't like them, if you don't use them. And then in here you have some more plugins as well. 12 volt USB and then of course your AUX cable. Another little hiding hole in there. Um, and then this is just going to be for your mouse basically for the touch screen. So this is going to be your rear camera. Now you also do have, sorry the light's being weird. Um, you also do have your home link settings for a garage opener and it's auto dimming as well. And then for the sunroof, so you can adjust that right here through these. So that's going to be the gist of the whole entire explanation of the vehicle. Super long-winded. Sorry about that. I just wanted to go through all the features as best as possible. Thank you so much for watching.